Uh -huh. International Monetary Fund, the IMF. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't had time to go through all these just quite yet. Mm -hmm. But why don't you get me the laptops of the IMF? I'm sure that you have some sort of super top secret security on your browser. Yes. And then there's the International Telecommunication Union. Yes. International Telecommunication Satellite Organization. And the International Tribunal for the Prosecutions of Persons Responsible for Genocide. Yes. And other serious violations of international humanitarian law. Mm -hmm. Now, that was for those that committed it in the territory of Rwanda. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I think we're going to have to call it the territory of the former United States of America. <laughs> As much as we refuse to enforce the ratification of the Constitution, and I mentioned the Organic Act, yeah. what happens if we have to redo it? <laughs> now, you would say, no, it's not possible. It is the Supreme Court. Well, listen, you idiots, pooch. I'm thinking that any nation that actually did get tried for <laughs> crimes against humanity... <laughs> There was probably some sort of adjustment to their individual constitutions. And since you refuse to enforce the constitutional guarantees, I might just teach a lesson to that Supreme Court justices. Now, for the idiot that's in court right now, um, I'm going to want that constitution enforced. Do you understand, Supreme Court justices of the United States? I'm going to want these treaties, agreements, and conventions enforced. Yes. And when I told you to look 